Uh, Apple has chosen not to do mail merge with um, between numbers and pages, so there really needs to be an easier way, and there, and there certainly is by using an online tool to do that. So I have a spreadsheet here, a membership spreadsheet that I'm going to open up, and as you can see, we've got names and email addresses and streets and and uh, all the different fields that would normally be in a, a list. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to export this list to a CSV file. Uh, and I'm going to choose CSV as my type. I'm going to change the location to my desktop so that I can find it, and I'm going to click Export. So now in a folder on my desktop, I have a CSV file uh, right here that I'll drag out called Active Members Table. So I'm going to work with that active members table to be able to create labels from it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Safari and I'm going to open up the website Avery.com. Now Avery is the company that makes labels uh, or label material uh, and they're kind of the biggest in the industry and, and typically their label number scheme uh, is set up so that you can pick a label number when you purchase it and then tie that to the layout that you're going to use when you create the labels. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the print it yourself tool and we're going to go to start now. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say I want to use an Avery 5160 label. Uh, 5160 is one of their standard label formats uh, and we're going to use that to create these sheets of labels. So first off I have to create a free Avery account. So I'm going to create one. and I'm going to give it a password. And I'm going to give it my first name and my last name. And click create an account. And I'll tell Safari to save the password so I don't have to retype it back in. So it takes me to the Avery 5160 label types. Now all of these different label types are ones that I could use. Many of them have little pictures in them, little little uh, symbols that kind of make the label look prettier when it prints out, but I'm going to use just a plain standard Avery 5160 label. So I'm going to come over here and click select the design. Now it tells me that after I uh, uh, do this I can purchase postage if I want to. I'm just going to click OK. Next I'm going to click on the import data button up here and I'm going to say import data. I'll browse for a file and I'm looking for that CSV file that I put on my desktop. So it's this one right here, Active Members Table, and I'll just click Choose. Now I'm going to download that file to Avery's website so that it can use it to create my labels for me. Uh, and that process is what it's doing right now. So up comes my membership list uh, shown in this uh, input uh, data, Import Data Mail Merge tab. So what I'm going to do, first thing I'm going to do is you'll notice that my first set of uh, data, or my first call, row of data is the labels that are from the spreadsheet. I'm going to uncheck that box because I don't want a label printed for that. So now across the top you see there are check boxes here and down below that is data. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to uncheck the boxes for data that's in my spreadsheet that I don't need to use when I create the labels that I want to print. So all of this membership data, the email addresses. Now I do need the street address and the city. I need the state and the zip. I certainly don't need the gender or the join date or, uh, or the field for do not publish or, or comment. So those are the fields that I'm going to use in my mailing label. If I scroll back to the side you can see I've got the last name, I've got the first name, I've got the street address, the city, the state, and the zip. So I'm going to click Next. So now it brings me to the to the uh, Arrange Fields tab. And you'll see the fields that I've selected over in that previous step are shown over here on the side. Over here I have the ability to be able to arrange those fields. So I'm going to take the first name and drag it over and put it there. And it's showing me the data from the first person. I'm going to take the last name and drag it over and put it there. Take the street address and put it there. I'm going to take the city and put it there. I'm going to take the state and I'm going to move the state by clicking in front of it and backing off a space so that I have a, a uh, 
space between them and then back that space off and I'm going to put a comma in. So I always want there to be a comma and a space. I'm next going to take my zip code and I'm going to drag that over and put my zip code right next to that. So basically this is the arrangement of the label. It's going to have the first name, last name, the street address, and the city, state, and zip on it. I'll now click next. So now it tells me that I can finish up my mail merge and it tells me how I can go about doing the editing but I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to click finish and you'll see my first label shows up here in the in the uh, label area. Now up here in the right corner I can either edit all or edit one. Well I'm going to leave edit all on because I have a three label or a three line label. So I'm going to drag my three line label down to work fully inside the safe area, uh, which is the dotted line around here, so that it fills that in. And what it also does is it makes my label center on the, the uh, label sheet itself, on the individual labels on the sheet. So once I've done that, I will now click Print and Preview. And here are my labels. This is how the labels are going to show up in print. Uh, next, I can say Print it myself up here at the top. Fill across is fine. It's going to be that has to do with whether the order is going to be across or down, and the order in this case doesn't make any any difference. And I have the ability to make a printer adjustment. If I click on Make Printer Adjustment, this allows me to move the label a small amount to the left or to the right. Now I would typically do that after I've printed a sheet to see where they all line up, but I'm going to just leave them at zero for this case. Next, I'll click Print Now, and it says they strongly recommend you save the design. I'm going to, and I'm going to call it Membership. So that way I can come back and reprint these anytime I want to. I'll click OK, and it creates the print design. So I'm going to now click Download the PDF, and you'll notice in my Downloads file, and also up here in Preview, are the sheets of labels that have been created. I would now send these to the printer uh, and I'd have the labels that I need. So this is a quick and easy way to be able to use the Avery online tool to uh, print labels from a numbers spreadsheet.